dancing and just give us a brief history on your kind of track record or where you studied and uh, oh, okay. uh, we can talk as well. Alright, well the story should go back right back to when I was about 13. Um, I actually left school at 13 and I became a street kid in Wellington and um, one day I was chased by the police and then my, I outran them and I ended up running into the Wellington um, Museum, but it was also the Art Museum at the time. And I ran into this place and there was a Queen's exhibition that um, was showing at the time. And they had things like Monet, Rembrandt, but at 13 I didn't know who these people were. All I knew was I walked into this gallery and there was these paintings larger than life, huge paintings. And I stood there all day looking at these paintings. I've never seen anything like them in my life. And I stood there and I, I looked around the whole exhibition and they just stuck in my head. They're still there. And um, I think that was the beginning of it, that I'd ever seen art the first time. And um, so that was 13. I didn't actually start picking up art until I was about 19. My daughter was born and my mother-in-law happened to be an artist. So I would watch her and I would um, critique her work just on observations of what I'd seen. I've never had any training. And then one day I asked her, Eleanor, can I paint? So she gave me a palette and she gave me a canvas. So I took myself off somewhere and I sat there and painted this picture. And she came and saw the picture and she said, oh my God, you can paint. And I went, oh, can I? And so really that was the beginning when I was about 19. I started teaching myself. And it wasn't until I was about 36 that I went to this art course. And the only reason I went to this art course is because right at the very bottom, they, on the enrollment form, they wrote on it, Polynesian and Māori welcome. And I thought, oh, good, it's for me. And I was the only one that turned up. And so that was the beginning, really. I did, that was at 36. I um, did four years of art. I, um, got my diploma and then I did a year's creative writing and then teacher's training and then I taught in this high school for five years and then I came back to Rarotonga and um, I ended up cooking for about three years and then I just thought I didn't come home for this so I quit and then I took up full-time art. That was about mm, eight years ago. Mm. Uh, so what do you love about um, a painting that gives you uh, the inspiration to keep? Oh, inspiration is easy. I just have to look outside. In Rarotonga we have colour, we have... Oh, it's just all there. And I'm never stuck for anything to paint. I just look outside. I never thought I'd ever paint flowers, but I do. I love flowers. And um, cultural. I paint a lot of tribal. And... Um, Inspiration is just, it's everywhere around us if we just look. Take it out. Um, so yeah, so how would you describe your artwork um, to somebody who hasn't seen your work? Oh, it, it depends. I, I think I do so many different styles. I have the tribal, um, which I've never been taught that. That just, that's natural. That just comes out once I start. There's no pre-planning. There's I have an empty canvas and I just, I trust my instincts and they just come out, all the tribal and um, organic, impressionistic. Um, I paint with just the primary colours and black and white and um, from the primary colours I make every colour and it's, my work is different, it is very different. I think I'm still learning, I haven't got there yet, um, it's, it's evolving all the time. I work. Um, I just love it. I enjoy what I do. Uh, do you have a specific artist or anybody that sticks out as a um, Yes, I do. I, I love Picasso and um, I love Georgia O'Keeffe. Those are probably my two favourites. Mm. And what do you love about those ones? Um, Picasso. Um, I love his line drawings. I love his cubism. Um, I love his mind and um, Georgia O'Keeffe, her colours, her forms, she does a lot of flower paintings and um, I particularly like her flower paintings and also her um, skulls, 
she did a series of skulls in, in the desert and um, sand dunes form. Love that. Mm. Uh, what advice would you give to somebody that was you know, a young person that was starting out uh, to get into painting and what advice would you give them back now if you were starting out at that age? Um, don't give up. Just keep going. Don't listen to anybody else. Just take on board what you need and um, just keep going for it. Uh, and what kind of uh, what kind of thing or what sort of things can someone do to stay on top of their archery work? Mm. Don't look at your work as a, as each piece. Don't look at it as a masterpiece. Look at it as um, uh, learning for the next one. And uh, if people wanted to find uh, more information uh, about you or how to contact you, where would they go? Um, my webpage, also Facebook, um, Google me, I'm there. <laughs>